Hello and how you doing? My name is Hubbin Oyster and I didn't have to go to work today. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so this actually is not a vlog um, or anything in particular. This um, is actually a response video to Musical Productions for a video that I just saw he recently posted where he, uh, he told about his the scariest moment of his life. And I thought about that and I said, maybe I should do that too. So I really thought about it, uh, and I haven't really had many scary encounters, but I have, I do have two that I can think of. Uh, one was, one was an actual hospital visit that was pretty traumatizing, and then another one was actually paranormal. So I'll go into the hospital one first because that's the first one that happened. So when I was, I believe, seven years old. Now, full disclaimer, I am, I have a high level of ADHD for anyone who is not aware of this because I probably never mentioned it, but yeah, they say that my, the doctors had told me, they said my level of ADHD is way higher than normal, which my dad, my dad had, had the same level that I do, which is where I get it from, but, um, so I, yeah, I was on medication for a while too, but moving past that, so. You know, me being very hyperactive, I, I had tendencies where I'd just do my own thing and whatnot. My brother Jared, my older brother now, he is, I'm outside and he comes out the front door back when we used to live in the trailer. And he says, uh, I think he needed me to help him find something back when Bionicles were a huge thing, the Lego things. And I needed, he wanted me to help him find something, I believe. So... Smart Cameron decides to hop towards the door like a frog. In this case, I did. So he's coming, uh, or I'm coming up to the steps, just little stone steps, uh, I think about three. And so I'm coming up the steps, I'm right there at the bottom step, and then he starts, then he starts to open the door, and then I jump as he's opening the door, and then, and I'm actually gonna kinda get a little close. I don't know if you can see that, but somewhere in here is a big scar about right here. Yeah, so the top of my head went straight into the corner of the screen door and made, I think, about a, about maybe a three inch, maybe two and a half inch long cut. Whoa, was the blood coming out. Bad. I was, I remember the second it happened, I don't think I felt as much pain as what I should have felt because I remember the impact actually didn't hurt as much because I probably had too much adrenaline going to know what was going on because I kind of blacked out for a little bit and I remember when I came to apparently my dad had came outside and picked me up and took me to the bathroom when I came to I was in the bathroom sitting on the sink and there was blood all in the sink and I felt the top of my head I felt my skull and it was so freaky I was I was about ready to pass out I was freaking out so much so dad uh, puts me in the car gets me a wet rag puts it on top of my head and he's driving me to the emergency room and so we get there I, I don't remember how much how long we had to wait for this in the end I had to get stitches and staples at the top of my head I can remember the stitches but I don't remember the staples that I don't know I don't know if they if they put me out for that or not but anyway that was the hospital visit and I think I might have said it traumatized me, but it really didn't. Uh, actually, not too long ago, a couple weeks ago, I had a pretty deep gash that was in my finger. That I that actually, I think it hit my bone because I was cutting open a box at work and I missed and went straight into my finger. And it actually went about like this, this kind of angle. So, and it, if it would have gone deeper, it would have gotten me throughout here too and made a big long cut. And I probably would have had to gone, gone to the hospital. But anyway, now for my paranormal experience. So, not far from here, uh, probably, what, 200 yards away, 200 meters? Down that way, down that road, Tyra Road, is uh, a good friend of my dad's. His name's Chad Walser. Um, and we went over there one time. I can't exactly remember what it was for. It was some kind of party, and I think it was some kind of celebration, but I can't remember exactly. But they did tell me about how... Their whole land, they they built their their houses this on their land. There's uh there's there's I know there's one actual legit house, so to speak. There's one big uh kind of house. It's almost house looking, but I think it's kind of like a 
a shed, but it's pretty big. Because I, I used to work there, they have a sawmill there. And then they have a big open, like, Morton building, so to speak. And one side of it's like a garage area, it's it's whole thing. And then on the other side is, is actually another uh, house. And then behind there, they got the whole saw field, and they were building another house back there for somebody to rent. But anyway, so they talked about how the land was supposedly haunted. And they told me that if you go in their bathroom, you'll actually, and you try to move the mirror. They had a little hand handle mirror, or, or just a little mirror hanging on the wall. I don't know why I said handle mirror. And they said, it's hanging on a hook, or, or not a hook, a nail. And they said, if you move it and let it go, it'll continuously sway. Like, it won't slow down and stop at the end like gravity does. It'll just keep going. So, I wanted to test that idea, so I went in there with the lights on. Obviously, because I couldn't see. <laughs> but what I did was, and I was watching a lot of ghost shows, ghost TV shows back then, so I was, you know, I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. So um, I went in there, and I started talking. I said, well, I don't know if what they said is true or not, but I heard if I move this mirror that you'll keep it going. So if you are there, I'd like to see that. So I moved the mirror. I pulled up about that much and then at about 45 degrees, and let go, and that, I guarantee you, yep, that thing just went foop, 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 and didn't stop. And I seriously, I think I stared at it for maybe two minutes, felt like an eternity, and then I stopped it, and then I tried to do it again, wouldn't do it. And I thought, whoa, that's crazy. That's the craziest paranormal experience I've had. I have actually seen, if you ever heard of them little orbs that, um, that are supposed manifestations of ghosts, which I kind of, I actually think they are because I have seen, I, like I'm about to say, I've seen them before and I've actually got a couple pictures of them. Uh, who knows? Maybe I'm going to post those one day. Show them on Twitter. Uh huh. They are actually in my Facebook. If you want to check that out, it's Cameron Martin. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, there's my response to Braden Musical Productions for some of my scariest moments. Um, it, you have to watch his video, though, because my moments don't even compare to what he had to go through. Um, you should definitely check that out. And make sure you subscribe to him as well. So, that's the end of the video for you. Don't forget to subscribe for more content. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment down in the comment section below for what you want to see next. Doesn't matter what it is, just tell me. And remember, life may be your oyster, but it's helmet on the stupid things. I will see y'all later. BITCH! Bye.